What's up guys, recently 343 published an article, a closer look at Halo Infinite's online experience. The article is pretty good actually, if you want to get into the meat and potatoes of that post, I've linked it in the description and I highly recommend you do. It's really a dry read, of course it is, it's quite technical, but Richard Watson, lead engineer at the Sandbox team at 343, really goes into good extreme detail about the problems with Halo Infinite's current online experience, and he really has some pretty good rationales and reasons why certain things happened, and he also gives some updates on what is being fixed. I've gone through the piece myself and I'm not going to go into detail here mostly because because I don't want to but I do have a few call outs. Two of the big ones for me is desync and being shot around corners or a lot of the time geo filtering. Watson does go into a lot of detail with this. He talks at length about how things synchronize and why they synchronize in that way. Essentially it comes down to geo filtering which has recently been updated and hopefully will be continue to be improved. Geo filtering is one of the bigger issues when you're talking about being shot around corners and hit registration. Watson mentions that the most recent updates should assist in improving these issues and ensures that this will start slowly improving the quality of the matchmaking so people can start playing with guys in their local area rather than across the world where there'd be connection issues and thus creates overall better gameplay. Excellent! Good to hear it. Here's a quote from the man. This morning's update. Okay, I don't know actually how he sounds. This morning's update should also prevent players from geo-filtering their online matches. Since this is impacting matches where they're put together via our matchmaker, it was causing unstable connections for the other players in the lobby, end quote. I.e., you might be playing with guys that have bad internet connection and thus you all have bad uh, syncing and thus one person has good sync and the other one has bad sync, thus not creating a very good gameplay experience. This is a good improvement. I'm happy to see this. Firstly, I'm tired of the registration and the training around corners, but mostly the desyncing, it pisses me off because it's just not fair and now I can finally get good. <laughs> Additionally, when it comes to the desync, desync problem, Watson says, and I quote, We have identified the issue linked above, along with some of the other cases where you can permanently desync, and we should have a fix deployed in the upcoming builds. Keep an eye out for patch notes for more info. End quote. I.e., Watson and his team are working on it. Respect. Thank you for noticing the problem. Please get it along. This is a pretty good update. Personally, it just makes the gameplay overall more appealing, and that's what I care about, is the gameplay and the fun aspect of Halo Infinite. I really don't care about the shop. <laughs> and other things like that which actually brings me to another point but before i get into that i do want to say thank you to 343 and also richard watson for putting this article together it is a dry as fuck article but if you actually read through it it's pretty good and it really does speak to a lot of the problems we've been having so thank you so much richard watson and thank you 343 for that update i am dying for you to update it more i'm sure halo internet will be a good game in about a year or so <laughs> but that's the truth of it so right this is all great news but as you can tell by the title of this video i'm honestly tired of talking about halo infinite infinite the way it stands right now. I'm not a daily news channel and no disrespect to the guys that are, but I just don't find talking about fucking store updates very interesting. I'd rather keep doing the features and commentary on the game as a meta. Sure, there's going to be some updates from time to time, but not fucking store updates. We all know the store is trash. I don't care. No one cares. Everyone goes to Halo Infinite and checks it out there anyway. I'm not talking about the fucking store updates. I'm not even going to be talking about bugs anymore. I don't care anymore. No one cares. We all know that there are bugs and problems with Halo Infinite and I'm just not that kind of channel. I know this may not be the best kind of content in the world, but I really do think that my audience, or at least the audience I'm trying to create, would prefer having a discussion about a specific topic, like desync, or like Battle Royale in Halo Infinite, which you should go and check out now, I actually made a video about that and you should go and see it. I don't feel like talking about the next stupid skin. Speaking of stupid skins, Jesus fucking Christ, you have so much fucking money, how could you not get a skin right? You got a mohawk which is skew, how the fuck did you even do that? What the fuck? Yeah, look, at the end of the day, I'm not a daily news channel, but I know some amazing daily news channels, ones that I like to enjoy, which is Sean W and Kevin Cool. Go and check them out. They're freaking amazing. And I'm going to link their channels in the description. And I highly recommend going to check them out for your daily Halo news. Okay, that's it. See you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Sorry for all the swearing. I did swear a lot, so I, I apologize for that. Sorry for all the swearing. But if you like the video, please don't forget to drop a like. And hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Please take care. Rip and tear. Cheers, everyone. Woo! Okay. Woo! That was close. That was a close one. We did it. We did it. There's another guy there. There's two guys. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, okay. Bless you.